warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Fanya Dimas Ramandani Name 23-10-86-2002 Okay, in this video I will to tell to you about reading, writing, listening, and speaking This video I make for complete uh, mid-semester test with Mr. Taufan Okay, let's start the video Okay, first of all, I want to tell to you about reading. Reading is one of technique in speaking English. Reading can be the first step to speaking English. This reading also make it easy for us to be able to speak English. Reading technique can be applied by starting to read book in English book. Slowly, we read in order to understand the meaning of word in the reading. If we have mastered it, we can move up to be more difficult English book. The book it also studied and read become more fluent in speaking English. This is where the step to speaking English began. Okay, the second, I want to talk to you about listening. Listening is an important English speaking skill. With this listening, we will hear people speaking English. For example, when we are watching foreign films, we don't need to turn on the translation because it can be exercised for us in listening technique. With this technique, it will also be easy for us to speak and remember word in English because people will tend to remember what they hear. However, this listening usually use two different language, such as a English or a British. The tones and words spoken in the two languages are quite different. However, it is recommended for beginner to use English first because it is easy for beginners to understand and the language is still familiar language. Apart from watching films, this can be done by listening music. Usually, people tend to remember music quickly. This makes people speak English quickly. Okay, number three is writing. Writing is a writing technique in English. This technique is a bit more difficult to apply compared to the previous two techniques because Writing requires good writing procedure, such as simple past tense, which are used to maintain sentence where even accurate in the past. And the next is simple continuous tense. Four sentence will tell events that are currently happening, and uh, the simple future tense tell about activity that will occur in the future. Indeed. This writing requires more difficult rules to apply. In fact, some people are more fluent in speaking more than English. However, writing can be trained with continuous practice and understanding grammar well. Okay, the last is speaking. Speaking is a talk in English. Many people lack confidence in speaking English. The reason is because they are not very fluent in speaking English. However, this can be trained well so that you can speak more that deeply. Actually, speaking can be trained by speaking English everyday life. Our speaking will be smoother if we do it continuously. And by changing our mindset, we have to apply that we can speak well then this will create positive affirmation so that we will be more confident to speaking english okay that's all about my video thank you for watching and listening my video i hope this video can uh, make you uh, more know about speaking writing uh, reading and listening in English. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.